Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy and staying fit inside your home and completing your work and preparing for exams also. As you all know children, we have started yesterday simple future tense that was very important for us and we should know about simple future tense because it is based on our action which is going to be happen in the future. So in this uh, video you can able to understand what is simple future tense and what is future continuous tense. So first of all we should revise what we have studied yesterday because this is very important that we have uh, done that. So let's revise what is simple future tense or you can say future tense. Future tense is divided into four forms. First is simple future tense. Second is future continuous tense. Third is future perfect tense. And fourth is future perfect continuous tense. So that we have started simple future tense that is why we are going to revise first that only and then after that we will uh, um, start future continuous tense. So let us start revising what is simple future tense. So the future tense is used to express an action that is likely to happen in future. So as we have discussed in simple future tense, we are supposed to use will and shall with verb, first form of the verb. First we will place subject and then will will be there or shall will be there and then first form of the verb. It means root form of the verb. And we have discussed that there are three forms of simple future tense. First, positive form. Positive forms means affirmative sentences you can say in the other sense and in this sentence uh, we can write subject first and then will and shall then root form of the verb then other words of the sentences now he will go to the market this is the example of simple future tense in the positive form. If we are going to talk about the interrogative form of simple future tense, then we just placed will and shall at the first place and then subject will be there and then first form or you can say root form of the verb then other words of the sentence. So that is the formation of simple future tense that we have discussed. And if we are going to make in the negative form of simple future tense, so what we supposed to do? We just add not with will and shall. First of all, we will write subject, he, she, it, they, I, whatever the subject is there, noun and pronoun. After that, will not or in the contraction you can say won't and after that first form of the verb and then other words of the sentences we will placed. Then at the end of the sentence we just put question mark. That is very important to make interrogative sentences 
in simple future tense. As we have discussed that there are three forms of simple future tense. First form is positive form. Second form is negative forms. And third form is interrogative forms. And we have solved one exercise which we have done that uh, on page number 109 in your mastering grammar book and we have completed exercise number A. Today we are going to do some exercise which is left in your mastering grammar book that is exercise number B. So let's start solving the exercise, exercise number B, which you can find page number 110. So all of you children, take out your mastering grammar book, page number 110, exercise number B. So start solving the exercise. First of all, you can see in this exercise, read the passage given here and fill in the blanks with will, shall or going to that we have discussed. Going to, it means the action is going to happen in the future. It is also considered as simple future tense. As we have discussed and it is also considered as a simple future tense. So, in this exercise, we are going to use that. Now, if you can see the exercise number B, that is mobile dash be used by millions of people in the remote areas within a few years. The make calls much cheaper for them. They dash be able to communicate with their distant relatives and friends easily. The revolution dash changed the way people keep in touch with each other. An old woman from a distant village said, I dash be able to talk to my grandchildren every day. Mobiles have definitely unheard ushered, excuse me, ushered in a new era of communication. Ushered means they are ready or they are ready to serve. That is called usher. So, we are going to solve this exercise first and then we will discuss how to make, how to form future continuous tense. Now I am going to write mobiles are going to be used to be used millions of people in remote area within a few years government will government will launch schemes which will benefit the un underprivileged okay sections and make calls much cheaper for them they will they will be able to communicate with their distant relatives and friends easily their revolution is going to change is going to change 
is going to change the way people keep in the touch with each other. And old woman from a distant village said, I will. Now here you can write, I will be able to ask to my grandchildren every day mobiles have definitely ushered in the new era of communication. So this way we have completed this exercise. So write down in your book. Now after that we are going to discuss present continuous tense. So complete it first. Now we are going to start future continuous tense. Future continuous tense uh, indicate an action which will be in progress in some definite time in the future. So it is a, you can say it is a continuous motion in the future. So that is why it is called future continuous tense. Now in that we are having three forms. First is the positive forms, second is negative forms and third is interrogative forms. Now first of all we should understood, we should understand that how to form the continuous tense in the future. So first of all we will uh, only add will be and shall be. That is most important thing in the future continuous tense will be and shall be because it is continuous tense that is why we are going to use in the verb ing. Why ing? Because it is continuous tense. So in the present continuous tense we have used ing. In the past continuous tense we have already used ing. That is why in that future continuous tense, we will use verb with ing. Now will be and shall be and verb with ing. That is so simple. So that we are learn today because if the question will be asked that write these sentences in future continuous sense. So you just add will be and then verb. First of all, we should discuss the formation of pres uh, future continuous tense. That is subject will be there, then will be or shall be verb with ing and then other uh, words of the sentence. Now let's see positive form of the future continuous tense. As you all know pos uh, positive forms means it's a simple sentence. He will be starting. He will be going. We will be uh, completing the task. So this, these are the examples of future continuous tense. Now let's discuss about negative forms of continuous tense future in future. So negative forms means we just add not. So how it will be formed? First of all we just write down subject first, then will not be or shall not be and then verb with ing. So always remember whenever we are making 
negative sentences in future continuous tense. So, we are supposed to use will not be and verb with ing. First of all, we will just put a subject first and then will not be or shall not be and then verb with ing. So, that is the formation of continuous tense in negative form. So, he will not be starting, she will not be starting, it will not be starting or uh, she will not be doing her work. So, these are the examples of future continuous tense in the negative forms. Now, let's discuss about interrogative forms. So, as you all know, interrogative forms are only asking question. So, as we have discussed, will and shall will be placed at the first place and then subject will be there and then B. B is a very important part in future continuous tense. So, first of all, will and shall will be there and then subject and then B will be placed and then verb with ing and the other word or the sentences will be placed after that. And because this is interrogative uh, mm, sentence, so that is why we are going to put question mark at the end. So, the formation of continuous tense in the interrogative form. How we are going to make? First of all, will, then subject, then be, be and then verb with ing. So, that is how we can make interrogative sentence in future continuous tense. So, let us uh, see the examples, some examples. Will I be starting? Will you be starting? Will he be starting? So, and the question mark will be placed. So, that is how we can do the interrogative sentences in future continuous tense. So, these are the forms of the future continuous tense. So, first we have discussed that positive forms and then negative forms and then interrogative forms. So, positive forms only B will be used and the uh, verb with ing and in negative forms we have used will not be verb with ing and in the interrogative forms we uh, are going to use uh, will and then subject and then be and then verb with ing. So, these are the three forms of future continuous tense. So, uh, let us see more about it because this is very important part of future continuous tense. Now, let us see more examples that is given in this uh, clip. Positive sentences, it will be raining at this time tomorrow. He will be visiting his friends this time next week. She will be watching TV this time. Tomorrow we will be working on our project. They will be writing letter to each other. Now, in the negative form, you can see he will not be visiting his friends this time or this week. She will not or in the contraction, we can write want be watching TV. Now, here this time tomorrow, we will not be 
working on our project. Now next, they will not or won't be writing letter to each other. Now let's see some more example of uh, question sentences or you can say interrogative sentences. Uh, uh, you can see, will it be raining at this time tomorrow? Will he be visiting his friends this time next week? This time tomorrow will we be working on our project? Will they be writing letter to each other? So these are the examples. So you just go through these examples because this is very important and you can understand that how to create positive sentences, how to create negative sentences and how to create question sentences or you can say interrogative sentences in future continuous tense. So after that, we are going to um, solve some exercise which are given in your mastering grammar book. This is exercise number C. C exercise we are going to solve. Uh, that you will find on page number 110. This is C number exercise. So children please take out your book. Mastering Grammar Book, your grammar book and this is page number 110. A and B we have solved, already solved and now we are moving to exercise number C. So let's start solving the exercise. Now children, fill in the blanks. This is exercise number C. Fill in the blanks with verbs in the future continuous tense. So let's start solving father leave for office soon. So I am going to write you just write down will be leaving. Will be leaving father will be leaving for office soon. Now we are moving to second one. The mechanic dash repair the fan today. So the mechanic will be repairing. will be repairing, the mechanic will be repairing the fan today. Now third one, Hina dash for her cousins in the evening. Now how can we write? Hina will be waiting because the verb is given. Because of the verb is given, so that is why we just add only ing. Hina will be waiting. Only we just add ing. I hope it is clear to you. So, will be waiting. Okay. Write down. Hina will be waiting for her cousins in the evening. So complete it beta. Now we are moving to number 4. Number 4 is Harish dash a new study table from the market tomorrow. Harish dash get a new study table from the market tomorrow. So now again will be getting we are going to write will be will 
will be getting. Okay. So, write down beta will be getting. Harish will be getting a new study table from the market tomorrow. So, beta complete. Complete this exercise. Now, after that, we will moving, we will be moving to the next exercise that is exercise number G. So, beta complete it first and after that, we will do exercise number T, D that you can find on page number 111. So, complete it fast. I hope you have completed. Now, next exercise is based on with verbs in the future perfect tense that we will discuss tomorrow because uh, this is the new concept in future tense and this is future perfect tense but we are going to solve this exercise today only you just write down or complete the exercise this is page number 111 exercise number d so let's start we hope that the sky dash by the time we set out on our journey. So now I am going to write will have cleared. will have cleared the we hope that the sky will have cleared by the time we set out on our journey now the second one the second one is the clown dash at the circus before the acrobat come in will have performed will have performed so second is will have performed now next is next is uh, write down the tailor dash stitch her dress by tomorrow so stitch is given over there so that we are going to write will have stitched will have stitched will have stitched so the tailor will have stitched her dress by tomorrow that we are going to write so all of you write down now Next is the woodcutter dash logs of wood before the night sets in. So the woodcutter will have cut. Cut is not going to change because it is used in the all forms of the verb that you always keep in mind. Cut put these are the verb forms that will never be changed in any form of the tense so we are going to write over here the woodcutter ha will have cut so in fourth will have cut 
So the woodcutter will have cut logs of wood before the night sets in. So complete it beta. This is exercise number D, page number 111 and tomorrow we are going to discuss future perfect tense. So on the basis of that we have completed this exercise but we are going to discuss in detail tomorrow. So I hope you have understood the concept of future continuous tense in that we have used that will be and shall be verb with ing. So that's all for today. Complete your verb and learn how to create future continuous tense in different three forms. So till then, bye-bye and take care.